Hi besties, welcome or welcome back. So yesterday I put a poll on my Instagram story um, asking you guys what videos you wanted to see. So I decided to go with um, the Grumpy Sunshine trope. I'm going to give you some book recommendations with that trope. If you don't know what Grumpy Sunshine means, it's basically when the guy is like super grumpy and the girl is like upbeat, positive, kind of like sunshine. Um, I'm trying to read more books so I can give you more recommendations. So I also posted a poll on my Instagram of like which book should I read next and it was between Love and Other Words and It Happened One Summer. So honestly, Love and Other Words won. I don't know, I just feel like that book is gonna be sad and I didn't want a sad book. I don't even know what the book is about. I just got the feeling. So I chose It Happened One Summer because I wanted spicy books. So that is what I'm currently reading and I literally started this book yesterday and I'm on page 228. 228. Like I am reading this book so fast. First of all, I just wanted to like mention this book because obviously this book has the grumpy sunshine trope. And I love it. I love it. So one really weird thing that's happening to me that never happens um, is that this book is written in like a third person kind of narrative. And if you know me, if you follow me, I hate those books. Well, not hate, but I don't like narratives or third person stories. It's honestly because I get like confused and I can't like understand and I get confused. But I have to say, it's so, so, so easy to read. So if you have English as your second language, this is gonna be perfect because it's so easy to read and you can like practice that writing style. This book is about Piper, this girl that lives in LA. Um, she has a stepfather that is super, super rich and basically she's an influencer. She only goes to like parties and like takes photos and has like a lot of followers on Instagram. But her stepfather pays everything. So the whole thing is that she's basically spoiled. And the story starts with Piper being at a party. Very normal for her being at a party, but she was at this party with her boyfriend. Her boyfriend of three weeks. And this boyfriend decided to dump her in the middle of the party and said some horrible things to her. And since she's an influencer, everybody at the party were looking at Piper and her boyfriend like breaking up. So she already knew that TMZ was going to be all over her breakup, um, stories about what happened and what not happened, and like rumors. She leaves the party and notices that there were a ton of stories already. So she decides to go all out. She breaks into a hotel. She she texts and calls hundreds of people and she throws a party which got so out of hand she ended up in jail and her, her little sister bailed her out and her stepfather decides to send her to Westport which is a very small town and that's where like the actual story begins when she arrives to Westport she meets Brandon which is the guy of the story um, he is like the ultimate grumpy guy um, he like doesn't talk to anybody and she's like super upbeat. So that's where the romance start and I love it. I cannot wait to finish this book. This is probably going to be a 5 out of 5 stars. Please go read it. It's so good. Okay, so now I want to talk about a book that is coming out on October 5th. This is a new author and she sent me her book and I read it and I loved it. I'm gonna put the book right here. It's named A Risk on Forever by Ennis Perkins. So this book starts with Adelaide, a girl who has to work full time to take care of her and her little brother because her mother died of an illness and they were left with their father but literally the father does nothing. He sits on the couch, watches TV, so she has to fend for herself, for her little brother. She's had this job for a long time and one day at her job she gets laid off which meant that she needed to find a job like ASAP. So she starts looking for jobs and she notices that there's this job for um, like a caregiver which is for a woman who needs help because she has an illness and she thinks to herself wow i am going to go to the interview um, for this job because actually she took care of her mother who had the same illness of this woman who needs help and when she arrives to the um house for the interview a guy opens the door and this guy is the son of the woman that needs a caregiver so um he is like the ultimate 
grumpy guy like he's so grumpy and so mean to her because um the first impression that he got from her like he didn't think that she was capable of taking care of his mother and this guy is named matthias so she goes inside for the interview he literally does not even acknowledge her and the interview like gets cut short and she leaves but matthias mother which is named helen um tells him that he was super rude to her and that she wants adelaide to be her caregiver so that is where the story starts they start off on the wrong foot but all because of matthias and like the stereotype that he gave her they are like enemies like they don't talk he doesn't talk to her but she's like positive upbeat trying to be good at her job and obviously then things change i love also how the book is written it's written in two perspectives so adelaide's perspective and then matthias perspective and honestly what i love most about this book is that at the end of each chapter there's a written letter from helen i love the grumpy sunshine and like the enemies to lovers and then like he gets to know her better and all that changes it's so cute so i gave the book 4.5 out of 5 stars just because it was not like my ultimate favorite but honestly it's a really good book i do recommend it go pre-order so the next book that i want to talk about is the soulmate equation by christina lauren so funny thing a couple of weeks ago I found out that Christina Lauren, the name, is based on two people. Like, I honestly did not know that. So sorry if I've been saying the name wrong because it's two people, but it seems like one. So yeah. So this book is written in a like third person point of view. So this book is about Jessica Davis. She's a freelancer that has a daughter. Um, basically, the book starts with Jessica Davis and her best friend Fizzy and they both go to this coffee shop and they meet up and like they work and talk and have coffee and there's this one guy that always always comes into the coffee shop and orders the same exact thing but he doesn't talk to anyone um, like he doesn't even smile to anyone like nothing and this guy is named river but they call him americano because that is his order every time he goes to the coffee shop so it's kind of a funny thing and one day the best friend fizzy um like literally stands up and goes to talk to him and they find out that he is actually a doctor who is running a startup company that sets up people based on their genetics they were so shocked because obviously this guy is super grumpy and it definitely doesn't seem like he runs a matchmaking company so it was all like very weird he invites them to be a part of like the sample process of the matchmaking company and long story short they do the samples which are like you have to like spit in a cup and they're gonna like run your genetics and they're gonna match you up with a lot of people and the thing is this app matches you by percentage how compatible you are with another person like 10 percent 30%, 50%. So it's really rare for someone to score a 80 or higher. So the funny thing is that when Jess, the main character, goes and does the sample, she gets paired up 90 something, like very high up 90. So that is the whole story. That's how it starts. Um, it's a very good book. It's very cute. Like it's cute. I loved it. Okay, next book is The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas. Um, I have talked about this book um, a lot of times, but it has the grumpy sunshine trope and it's one of my favorites. So basically this book is about Catalina and Erin. They are like co-workers. They have been co-workers for a year or two, I think, um, if I'm remembering correctly. But they're like enemies. Like they hate each other. Like they cannot stand each other. They both had very bad first impressions of each other. So enemies to lovers, but he's super, super grumpy and she is so upbeat. And long story short, they decide that they're going to help each other out with things. So she helps him with something and then he's going to help her with something. And it also has the one bit trope love it it's a slow burn like be patient it's a slow burn but it's worth it i loved the ending it's so cute like it's so cute it was a five out of five stars for me very good so i have two books left but they are in the same series so i've also talked about the series a lot recently because i'm obsessed you guys you know i'm obsessed the twisted series by anna huang like these books are the definition of grumpy sunshine the first book is twisted love this book is about alex and ava so ava is this like very very like positive upbeat girl she's in college and she has a brother and her brother is her neighbor so they are very close 
and literally they, they live next to each other and Alex, the main character, has been best friends with her brother for years so it's also brother's best friend Alex is the ultimate grumpy guy but he's like very very intelligent but the whole story starts with Ava's brother moving to another country and Ava's brother is the guy that is super protective over her so he's like so worried to move away because um, he cannot like protect her so he makes a pact with Alex, his best friend to move into the apartment that he lives in and keep an eye on Ava but Alex has so many secrets and you're gonna find out because this book has so many plot twists plot twist after plot twist after plot twist and you're like what is happening but honestly you guys know this is one of my favorite series now i cannot wait for twisted hate it is the third book so yeah i give this book a five to five stars please go read it like right now read it so these two were a five stars for me please go read them i cannot recommend these enough and if you do read them, please DM me and let's talk about it because I could talk about these books forever. So you guys, those are all the recommendations I have for you today. So I'm going to try to read more so I can give you more recommendations um, and maybe do like an enemies to lovers dedicated video. I would love to do that. So um, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe down below and turn on the notifications so you get notified when I upload more videos. Thank you so much for watching besties. I love you and I will see you in my next one. Saw you walking in the street one day, it was Sunday You had flowers in your hand, you were dancing With your headphones on, didn't care that Everyone was watching you, mm -hmm.